My brother has autism and likes swinging. He's like obsessed with swinging, so we have that there with an old trampoline mat so he doesn't get dirt everywhere on his feet when he's swinging around. Um, we got a little chair we made for my grandma when she's out burning. And by burning, I mean this thing. Windmill thing. Anyway, this is the burning barrel. What we do with this thing, we uh, burn all of our garbage and stuff. There's the ashes from the last burnout. Not sure if you can see it. Uh, we burn all of our garbage, we burn everything, we cut down tree-wise. Burning is a way of doing garbage up here. Pretty fun to see the flames get pretty high, I must say. Then again, I'm half a pyro sometimes. This is the path to the other side of the island. This is where the boring part comes in, bear with me. There's really not much goodness here. This is a twisted tree we put a duck crossing sign on. Doesn't make much sense. There's no ducks that walk through here. Be better off on the other side, I think, back to where we were. We just run so we don't waste valuable camera time. Then again, I don't feel like it. Let's go. I'm afraid I'm gonna fall. <laughs> I'm wearing flip flops, damn it. Oh, shit. Falling, falling. Fall in the van. No one wants to see that. This is where the old duck crossing sign used to be. Then beavers showed up and like cut it down. I was like a sad panda. Continuing forward. Oh, oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, 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 yeah. Getting worn out already. Stupid path. All right, through here. First off, these are blueberry bushes. Spring came kind of late for us. It's technically almost summer in Canada right now. So kind of chilly out from time to time. I, I don't really know because I don't like Celsius in the metric system because it sucks. This is a swinging tree. It has a rope on it. And what's so special about that is we have kids from like places like over there. And they like to come over here on their boat or whatever. They stop, park the boat, and then they climb up the tree, swing off it, jump in the water. It's pretty fun. I've done it. Surprisingly, I haven't done anything stupid to land in my head yet on the rock. Oh well. I need to do that again this year. Do, do, do. Okay, we're about halfway to the other side. This is going to be a two-part video, I can tell now, for right nine minutes. More blueberry-like things that aren't growing because summer came a little bit late. Yeah, fail. Nothing there. Damn you. Damn you, Canadian weather. Do do do. Ugh. Well, watch my step. Have a good day. As you can see, we have a, a big path of nothing other than walking around for exploring reasons. Actually, I'm taking the path this year, so I'm pretty excited just to walk around on this camera. Haven't been on this side of the island at all in the last three days I've been here. How long it's been. I don't like to count. Counting is for kindergartners. I'm graduated from high school. I don't really care about counting on my fingers and toes. Toes. Alright. Here's part of the end of the island. This is where we used to throw all the fish guts and crap over on that rockway over there. Can't really zoom in on it. I'm kind of lazy, so... It's over there somewhere. The water's pretty high this year. Here's the back of the lake, pretty much. Uh, maybe later in this week I'll uh, take small videos of where we like to fish and put them on. You never know me. Probably not. You people don't even know where I fish. Well, maybe you do. I don't care. This used to be one of my favorite fishing spots. Caught a lot of bass and pike over here. I should really be out there. Not shallow or anything. There used to be like a dock here that some neighbor left behind. Kind of got abandoned, but I think they picked it up last year. 
It's kind of sad. That thing was kind of cool to just sit on. Because I have no life and I like to sit on things. Ow! Damn tree. There be trees everywhere. I'm taking the last pathway of the island here. I haven't even taken this for like a year and a half. I don't even think I went on this path last year. Because I'm lazy. This is a little fort I made when I was younger. Dad and I used to cut down a lot of trees, set them up. It's obviously abandoned, no one really goes in it. It's actually a pretty shitty job I did. Oh well. It's a fort, what can you expect? More of the lake. Alright, we're about ready to wrap this up now. I think you guys see enough of the island, I don't know. It's a pretty cool place. I only get up here tw two weeks a year. One week in July, opening up fish a little bit. Once in August to close it, close up the cabin for the year. That an egg? Holy shit! We found golf balls here once. You see a lot of weird stuff here every once in a while. Duck under the tree. Crossing bush shit. Ah. This is the very end of the island, everybody. I'll tell you, one of my fishing spots, if I can find it, you see that uh, green buoy thing out there? That's a reef. Reef right there, and uh, we catch lots of big northern and crap there. If you look on my Facebook, I caught a decent sized one and uh, kissed it. No homo on my part. I don't. I think it was a girl fish. You can never be too sure. Praying it was. I don't want to be an ounce gay or anything. This is the last tree of the island. It's pretty much the tip and the point. And out there is more of Abram Lake. Yeah. You know, I love Selby Island a lot. It's been a great place. I've been up here. This is my 18th consecutive year to come up here. I've been up here since I was one, so. So it was a real treat to come up here every year, that's for sure. And uh, this is the end of the video. Hope you uh, like it, and I can't fucking see myself. Damn, son. Have a nice day.